Hello friends, this video on Amaze part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next method to prepare amine is reduction of nitrile. Nitrile we know is something of this form RCN. This is my nitrile. So I can reduce this by using LiAlH4. Or I can use same hydrogen as a metal catalyst. Nickel or PT catalyst. Right? This can be used. So we can use any of these methods to reduce this nitrile. So I have for example alkyl cyanide that is my RCN right and I can reduce this to form RCH2NH2. Here if you see one carbon gets added extra. Correct. And thus this reaction is used for ascent of amines is that if you want to add one extra amine, you add CN first and then you reduce, you get CH2NS2. For example, as I told, I have CH3NS2 here and I want to make it as C2H5NS2. So what I'll do, I'll react this with uh, NaNO2 HCl. I want to make it OH. So I'll make it CH3OH. OH I can make it uh, chlorine because chlorine can be replaced easily with uh, CN. Chlorine is a good relieving uh, group. React with PCl5, I get CH3Cl. You have seen this kind of reaction actually. And with Cl I can easily replace uh, uh, with CN by reacting with KCN. So chlorine will go up and CN will come here. So it'll get CH3Cl. Now CH3Cn if I've got, I can do a reduction by either hydrogen and a nickel catalyst or using LiLH4, what I get is CH3, CH2, NH2. So see, I started with CH3, NH2, I made it CH3, CH2, NH2, right? So one CH2 is added extra. And this could happen only because I could get this from reduction of this alkyl cyanide. And thus this reaction is very important because this is used to, for ascent of amine series, you want to add one more for example, this, the next element in this homologous series is, I know that this is nothing but CH3, CH2, NH2. So from this, if I want to get this, from methyl amide, amine to ethyl, I need this reaction. From methyl also, if I want to add more, I need these reactions. Same thing, I have to convert this into alcohol and then with, with chlorine and then with CN. And then once it is CN, I can do a reduction to get CH2NH2. Correct? Very, very important reaction. So you can use LiLH4 or you can use hydrogen and nickel catalyst. See here, if you want to see the reaction mechanism, just understand from this perspective is R double C N. What happens is this bond breaks and you get H here and you get H here. Again, the another bond breaks and you get H here and you get H here. Because what this catalyst do is, it converts, it breaks this hydrogen into H plus and H minus. Since nitrogen is more electronegative, nitrogen will be slightly negative charge, carbon will be slightly positive charge. So here H plus can attack, here H minus can attack, here H plus can attack, here H minus can attack. So I'll show you. So you have R. C triple bond N. Slightly negative charge, slightly positive charge. Since this might uh, metal catalyst will give me H plus and H minus, right? This will be the metal catalyst actually here. I have H plus here and H minus here. So what will happen is this this plus will have a bond here, minus will bond have a bond here, and this bond will break. So with this, what you get is R C H N. Again, same thing will happen. This is metal catalyst. Here I have H, let's suppose minus NH plus. Same thing. This, this nitrogen is slightly negative. This is slightly positive. This will attract and have a bond with this. This will have a bond with this, and this bond will go off. So, for this, you get RCH2 and NH. So, that is the typical reaction mechanism. Correct. 
So the next is reduction of amide. So I have amide RCONH2. So if you reduce this again, either with LiAlH4 or same hydrogen with a nickel catalyst, you get RCH2 NH2. And this is my amine. And this is my amide. Please note RCO NH2 is amide. And this is my amine. For example, I have CH3, CO, NH2, hydrogen catalyst in the presence of hydrogen in the presence of nickel catalyst, I get CH3, CH2, NH2. Correct. So you see the reaction mechanism, what happens here also? Same thing, I have a, a metal catalyst which gives me H plus and H minus. So I'll show you the reaction mechanism for this. So I have H plus and H minus since this oxygen is more electronegative, slightly negative charge, slightly positive charge, right? So this H minus will first attack this guy. So what will happen is you get CH3, CO minus H in NH2. So this H plus will come here and this O minus will attack this guy. So this becomes CH3, OH, H in NH2. Correct? Since this has a lone pair of electron, there will be more H plus because this, because of H2 and Ni will have a lot of H plus and H minus in the system. So this will attack this H plus. So what you get is CH3 like this with a positive charge. But oxygen, electronegative element won't want positive charge. And also H2 is a bulky group, it will leave, it's a good living group. Since it leaves, this bond breaks in this, this fashion. This bond breaks in this fashion, right? So H2 leaves and carbon gets a positive charge. H2, H2, yeah, with the H. Carbon is not happy with the positive charge. It wants to be neutral, there is H minus will come and it attack this carbon. So what you get is CH3, CH, H, and NH2. So that is how it will happen. So if you see, this is what you get, CH3, CH2, NH2. Correct. This is a typical reaction mechanism for the reduction of amide to amide. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.